Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's class, I am going to teach about binary multiplication in VLSI design. So, what is multiplication? So, multiplication we studied in a primary, just to multiply the two terms. Why it is called as binary multiplication? So, in this multiplication, only involving two digit values, either 0 or 1. So, it's called as a binary multiplication. So, this type of binary multiplication is mainly used to microprocessor and digital signal processor graphic engines. So, these are the applications of uh, binary multiplication. Then, this binary multiplication is equivalent to AND operation. So, already we discussed many times in AND operation. So, both the inputs are high. So, A and B is the input value 0, 0, 0, 1. 1 0 1 so both the inputs are high the corresponding output is 1 else the output is 0 so it's an AND operation so this AND operation is used in the binary multiplication so let us take two decimal number 22 into 9 just to multiply this two decimal number the answer is 198 so here I am taking two decimal number. First, this decimal number is converted into binary number. So using 8421 code 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So 22 equal on binary number 16 plus 4, 20 plus 2, 22. Remaining bits set to be 0. Then 9 equal on binary number 1, double 0, 1. So, this term represent multiplicand. So, this term represent multiplier. So, just multiplier term is multiplied with this multiplicand. So, here first bit is 1. So, this 1 is multiplied all the multiplicand. So, 1 into 0, 0. So, here I am applying just AND property both the inputs of high then only we can get the result 1 so 1 into 1 1 1 into 1 1 1 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 so first product term over then next multiplier bit is 0 so this 0 is multiplied with all the multiplicand so 0 into 0 0 just to shift one bit 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 0, 0, 0 and 0. Then next multiplier is 0. Then one second multiply this term into multiplicand. So all the bits set to be 0. Then 1. So 1 into 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So all the multiplier bit multiplied with multiplicand term. So, these all called as the partial product term. So, after getting the partial product term, just sum, sum of all the columns. So, this one is column 0. So, column 0 is 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1. So, 0. 1 plus 1, sum 0. This carry is propagated to next to bit. 1 plus 1 sum 0 carry propagate to next bit 1 and 1 so this is the final product term so this is the final product term so this binary multiplication is a m cross n multiplication so m represent multiplicand n represent multiplier. So, in this multiplication, so first multiply the multiplier with multiplicand, then apply the shifting operation, then applying the addition operation. So, finally you get the product. So, let us consider y cross x multiplication. So, y is called as a multiplicand and x is called as a multiplier equal to y of m minus 1 y m minus 2 
y1, comma, y0. So, x equal to xn minus 1, xn minus 2, x1, comma, x0. So, how to find the product? So, this is the formula. So, j equal to 0, summation j equal to 0, m minus 1, yj dot 2 power j. So, i equal to 0, m minus 1, xi dot 2 power i. So, this term considered as multiplicant. This one considered as multiplier. So, then come to dot diagram. So, this also comes under this binary multiplication. So, it is a 4 bit uh, binary multiplication. So, y dot x. So, y is multiplied with x. So, this y is represented as 4 bit value y3, y2, y1, y0. So, x also 4 bit value x3, x2, x1, x0. Just to multiply this two term. So, y represent multiplicand, x represent multiplier. So, x0, y0, x0, y1, x0, y2, x0, y2. Then next bit is x1. So, x1 is multiplied with this multiplicand. So, x1, y0, x1, y1, x1, y2, x1, y3. Then third bit x2 x2 y1, x2 y2, x2 y3, x2 sorry y0, y1, y2, y3. Then final bit is x3. So x3 y0, x3 y1, x3 y2, x3 y3. So this all call it as Partial product. Partial product. Then you just add the column by term. So first column result is called as P naught. So after addition of these two values, you get the product term one. So first bit of product. So P two, P three, P four. P5, P6 and P7. So, this P 7th bit is called as C out. So, after addition of this all the partial product is there any overflow occur that overflow is reflected in P 7th bit. So, it is called as the final product. So, this is the simple explanation of a binary multiplication. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.